The following presentation is for Nexio's BAT EMC software. In this presentation, we're going to show the manual modes for the new emissions interface we call Visu 4. Here we have a test that was previously run, and you can see we have data for the suspects above, and we have data for the finals below. Note that uh, all of this testing was done using the automatic execution, whereby it did a pre-scan, it uh, found the suspects according to the criteria set in the advanced suspects procedure. Then it did the final measurements, and that's what you see here, all done automatic. So let's say we're going to do measurement on just a single peak, and I want to remeasure or troubleshoot an item. For example, I can choose this peak up here that was found in suspects. So if I were to go to this first peak and say use for manual point, then the manual point will open and you can see uh, I have these different menu options. So I will choose the CISPR recommended settings because this is a CISPR test. I will initialize the setup. The block diagram appears just to verify the right resources are chosen. Then I can go to the max position that was found at the original scan. So I will say go to the max position. I can enlarge this window a little bit so we can see the positioner better. And the original angle was 149 uh, with the height at 1 meter, so it should go back there. Now that we're at that location, let's do a continuous measurement using the peak detector with max hold. So here are the two major choices, maximization and final measurement. We're at the maximization stage. We will select free run and the receiver will initialize. The bar graph will appear for the peak detector. And as you can see, we're doing continuous measurements in max hold. Okay, now this is the current azimuth max and height max. What we're going to do here is to manually turn the turntable and adjust the antenna mast to see if we can determine a new maximum. So what I can do is either manually set a target, such as zero, and then go. So it will go to zero. Besides typing in a target, it's also possible to simply hit the plus and minus buttons or to press go to max. And any time I could have stopped it if I wanted to, but we're going to do the full 360 to see if we can come up with a new max angle. There we go. So the max angle is now 330 degrees. What I will now command it to do is to go there. Now we're at 330 and I can exercise the antenna mass to see if I can come up with a new value for the max height. I can put in a target or just simply go to max. Okay, so now that we've achieved the maximum height, I can now put in the target to go there, and that's going to be, we found it at one meter, so 
I'll just now say to go to min because I know that's one meter. Okay, now we've returned to the one meter location. So currently we are at 330 degrees on the azimuth and one meter on the height. So indeed we're at the max position. I can stop that measurement. And now we're going to do a final measurement. Because we're in a range below one gigahertz, we're going to use the quasi peak detector for that. And as you can see, because I changed to the quasi peak detector, the measurement time came up to one second. It could be set to a higher amount, for example, if the peak was uh, unsteady. And then I can say to do a single run because that will measure it. It will do a continuous measurement in max hold and will record that value as the final value after the measurement time expires. The previous measurement in free run would not stop until commanded to do so. Now I can select single. It'll do a single measurement. And here you can see the new results. So we have the new values. We have the new delta. And we can store this to the table of finals by selecting store. And if uh, there was a previous uh, peak that was measured at that frequency, if I don't want to override it, I make sure that I do not uh, select that box. So now that when I store the result, you can see I have the new result here. And that's the one that was done manually. Another thing I'd like to show you briefly is the fact that I could have also clicked on a particular peak that wasn't found uh, prior and then use that peak for a manual point measurement. Uh, for example, I have that uh, cursor on that peak. You can see cursor one with the peak information here. I can then use this button to transfer to the manual point. And there you go. You can see that we now have a new frequency. I could go to the new max position for that and it will drive the positioners to the location where that was found and I can begin the process all over again. I'm going to stop this initialization. Now let's explore another manual mode. I've switched to a conducted test. The two reasons are it is faster and it also doesn't involve a positioning system so it will be simpler for the demonstration purposes. Here you can see I have the tabular data above the previous suspects were found according to the criteria and when he had the table of finals below these were measured against the suspects so let's say I want to remeasure a particular area I can go to manual operation mode and then the dialog box states to select the frequency range on the chart using the shift click or select all so I'm just going to do the shift click and we can remeasure this area here, for example. And I can now state to do a pre-scan. So I have different options, advanced or simple, etc. I'm going to do the regular, use the peak detector, and now it's going to remeasure that area. Block diagram appears and we verify the setup. Phase one first. And then after line one, we have neutral. And there we go. I have uh, data that was ran for this area. 
let's say I want to uh, run the suspects on that then uh, it, it's also possible using the data reduction recalc advanced suspects so let's see what we get here I am going to compare to the average limit line which is correct looking for a 6 dB offset okay that's correct uh, maybe I want to increase that offset how about if I increase it to minus 10 for this purpose okay so I'll run the advanced suspects and you can see we had a new suspect highlighted and uh, that is approximately in the if I click on that um, approximately in the 370 range so if I were to come up here select that peak then I could execute the final on it and I'm going to do advanced that way I make sure that I'm using both detectors and then I can store the results the way I would like them I'm going to change the measurement time in this case just to one second we'll consider that it is a steady disturbance and then okay first phase one and there we go we now have a final measurement for that peak that we found uh, using the remeasurement mode okay let's go to that peak and let's say I want to uh, add a comment so it says double click to edit the comment I will double click and I can add a comment for this peaked uh, measured manually and I can say uh, added ferrite for example uh, ferrite uh, model you know one two three something like that and there you go now I have a comment associated with that new peak that I remeasured and this is very useful it's a similar process that can be done for the manual point mode as well as the manual operation mode using a range to track the new tests that were done and any notes for example uh, turning uh, data on and off adding ferrites uh, changing cables to shielded cables and so on this can be extremely useful in the investigation modes and it can also help you track the uh, changes so within a test it's easy to compare from one uh, remeasurement to another uh, it's also possible to use the list of external curves and with the list of external curves it would be possible to import curve from a previous test you know I have uh, some in this previous project that was run so I could import a previous curve to compare as well as from a file so more options here as far as how to do investigation modes how to compare one remeasurement to the next and then also how to compare from previous tests, uh, previous curves or curves imported from let's say files or external test labs. Lots of options here. This concludes the demonstration for the manual measurement modes for the new emissions interface for BAD EMC version 3.20.